Our big story tonight, an update on the canal killings as a judge throws out the bid to dismiss DNA evidence that linked a valley man to the murder of two women back in the early 90s. And tonight, Team 12's Adriana Loya joins us with the latest on this update. And Adriana, what was the judge's decision based on? Well, this whole case came down to that DNA evidence. Undercover police obtained it from a restaurant's mug Brian Patrick Miller used while he was meeting with an undercover officer. His lawyers claim that violated his rights because police didn't have a warrant to collect it in the first place. Now the judge says since the DNA was left at a restaurant's mug, when he left, police could take it. In the ruling, the judge wrote, customers who walk to a restaurant's exit having left such items behind implicitly communicate their intent to abandon them. Authorities say DNA collected during the 2015 dinner with Brian Patrick Miller linked him to the deaths of 22-year-old Angela Broso November 1992 and 17-year-old Melanie Bernas from September of 93. Both women disappeared in North Phoenix near the Arizona Canal. Broso was found nude and decapitated in a field near a back path adjacent to the canal. Ten months later, Bernard's body was discovered floating in the canal. Semen evidence collected from both crimes suggested there was only one suspect that later identified to be Miller after a genealogist linked the DNA to an ancestry database. For police back in 2015, that was the lead they needed to bring back peace to a community. Undercover detectives in a ruse were able to obtain his DNA just this week. Our crime lab last night compared it to the DNA collected at the scene of these two homicides in 1992, and it was a positive match. Miller pleaded not guilty to the murder, kidnapping, sexual assault, and attempted sexual assault charges. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty. His trial is scheduled for September 21st. Adriana Loya, 12 News. Adriana.